In tonight's first episode of Coronation Street, 7.30 p.m. CRTV Guide for Full Listings, Kelly Nealon resorts to drastic measures to stay off the streets. Kelly hears her phone ring with a call from Imran but as she goes to answer it, her battery dies. She enters a hotel and plugs her phone into a socket in the foyer but the hotel receptionist approaches, demanding to know which room she's staying in. Another guest, Alan, comes to her rescue and tells her she's welcome to knock on his bedroom door any time. Kelly hurries out of the hotel and returns to the shop doorway only to find what few things she had have been stolen. At number 7, Dev and Asher persuade a reluctant Adi to join them for lunch, unaware that Kelly is desperately trying to call him. With no other option, Kelly returns to the hotel and knocks on Alan's bedroom door. Johnny's funeral takes place and Carla, then Jenny, each give a heartfelt eulogy. At the wake, Jenny knocks back the wine while Carla watches with concern. Later, Jenny tells Daisy that she's the sole beneficiary of Johnny's will and he's left her £20,000. Nick tells Sam that they're moving back to the flat today. As Nick, Leanne and Sam approach Victoria Court, David and Max round the corner. When Max makes some insensitive remarks alluding to Natasha's death, Nick's furious but Leanne assures him that with family support, Sam will be fine. While Tim visits Faye in prison, Fizz calls at the garage and tells Tyrone that he mustn't beat himself up as it would appear Isla has a reputation for copping off with the other dads behind her husband's back. <laughs>